I saw blood all over. I saw heads hopping, stomach hopping. And the worst thing is watching them dying. You know, there was a girl, my best friend, she was in class. And the only thing I could do was just, just hold her head. Ruben Sinier, a staff member of Mission of Hope Haiti and seminary student at Church on the Rock in Port-au-Prince, continues his work today while the rest of his classmates either died or are crippled for life from the recent 7.0 earthquake that hit this impoverished nation January 12th. And out of the rubble and ashes and the unpredictability of the earthquake, for some who survived, their faith is stronger than ever before. Maybe God wanted me to know something. God wanted, me, God, God wanted to teach me something. He wanted me to see how big he is, how faithful he is, and how much he loved me. The seminary's groundskeeper, who was outside the building during the quake, also lived to see another day. He heard students screaming inside, a day he says he will never forget. I cry to Jesus, save us. I cry to Jesus, rescue us. It's stories like these that are bringing hope and life in a nation filled with death. And if there can be a silver lining from the devastating earthquake, here in this village of Susmatra, where there was once little to no water at all, rushes over 20 springs of living water, fresh water caused from the shifting earth of the earthquake. Clean drinking water has always been in short supply in Haiti, and with a country filled with critically injured people, doctors say water is a key ingredient to a successful recovery. Many people, I mean, uh, farmers, you know, they are very happy, so because they have a lot of water. But like I know, if they, we can uh, try to fix that water, all the spring, put them together, and can give us one way and to go, the water can go. This isn't the only case of water flowing for the first time. Now, just after the earthquake, teams with Living Water Ministries tapped a well on the Mission of Hope property after trying for nearly 12 years. You should have been here yesterday when we turned the pump on. They're coming in with buckets and kind of praising and hollering and very excited. So that carries to us too. We're excited about them to have drinking water, which they're drinking out of the well. It's safe. Everything else they have isn't safe. And whether it's ministries providing needed resources like water or a seminarian like Reuben, many Haitians are forever changed. I have a feeling that God wants me to pass through this situation because I understand the same Reuben that went to school two hours before the situation is not the same Reuben that got out on the concrete blocks after four hours. It's, I'm a new man. It's like I died and God gave me life again. In Haiti, for the Total Living Network, I'm Russ Jones.